1995, the Raiders, professional sports winningest team, return to Oakland, their home for three glorious decades. Fans of all ages treasured this moment, for this was not an expansion team seeking a home. These were the mighty Raiders, whose tradition of greatness had continued in Los Angeles. During the memorable years in Southern California, the silver and black maintained its lofty status. 25 Los Angeles Raiders had been Pro Bowl choices. saw eight Raiders enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Crowds that at times top 90,000. The Los Angeles Raiders were playoff bound seven times. Won four division championships, the AFC Championship, and another world championship of professional football. The Raiders continued to strike fear throughout pro football with their famed vertical passing game, power running, and relentless attacking defense. of the greatest players, greatest coaches, greatest plays, and greatest games return to Oakland. But the true greatness of the Raider organization remains in its future. Open the 95 season of the Oakland Coliseum against the defending AFC champion San Diego Chargers. Number 33, Eddie Anderson, got the season's first interception. Third and 13, Humphreys back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Goes deep down the far side, looking for Edge Everson, and it's picked up by Eddie Anderson. Quarterback Jeff Hosteller proved doubly dangerous to San Diego, picking up valuable yardage by Lamb. through the air. Hostetler targeted running backs Harvey Williams, 22. And number 26, top draft choice, Napoleon Kaufman for key games. Then he teamed with wide receiver Tim Brown for the historic first touchdown back in Oakland. Firing in the end zone for Brown, touchdown Raiders! And it is appropriate that the first score for the return of the Oakland Raiders goes to a heart player like Tim Brown. The roar of the crowd inspired defenders bent on destruction. Pat Swilling, number 56, got his first Raider sack. And corner Terry McDaniel, 36, led swarming tacklers stopping the pass. Then the run. Special teams made special plays. 57 linebacker Rob Holmberg recovered a fumble. After a booming Jeff Gossett punt, number 39, Bruce Pickens, 55, James Fulston, and 37, James Trapp, down the ball on the one. And in the third quarter, rookie Cole Ford's long field goal opened a Raider lead. Out of the hold of Gossett, it's down, it's up, it's on its way, it's got the direction, does it? It's got the distance, and it's good. With 76, Steve Wisniewski and the big line dominating up front, the Raiders sprung the devastating one-two punch of Harvey Williams and Napoleon Kaufman. Just win, baby. Touchdown, Raiders! Napoleon Kaufman. A 
season that began so brilliantly would not reach the very highest standards this proud organization demands of itself. Key injuries from Don Mosbar's preseason on, one of the league's toughest schedules, and misfortune all season haunted the Raiders. Crucial big plays were disallowed. Controversial calls changed momentum or decided games as these Raiders missed their 19th playoff season by just one game. It was a frustrating season for astute first-year head coach Mike White, the able coaching staff, and the entire Raider organization. But lessons were learned, players developed, and much accomplished. Harvey Williams again demonstrated thousand-yard capability. Opponents learned that the Raiders, with 19 new players, were still a dominating force on offense and defense. Opponents learned that great athletes still patrol the Oakland secondary, as they had in decades past. skilled youngsters like quarterback Billy Joe Hobart and receivers James Jett and Daryl Hobbs were combat ready. Opponents saw new veterans like Kerry Cash produce and Tim Brown carry on the Raider tradition of wide receivers who set the standard of excellence. filled the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum from the opening game on. The season's first road game put the Raiders in Washington, D.C. Intense special team efforts by Rocket Ishmael, Derek Fenner, Eric Ball, Mike Morton, Dan Land, Calvin Jones, and others enabled 26 Napoleon Kaufman to display balance and burst. With Turk, Wisniewski, Gogan, Skrepanik, and Jenkins opening massive lanes, Harvey Williams powered through. Defense dominated as 91 Chester McLaughlin and 74 Nolan Harrison overpowered. Number 54, Greg Beaker, captured a quarterback. And when Washington did get a completion, defenders like number 29, Albert Lewis, and 37 Olympic sprinter James Trapp combined for a takeaway. Number 99, Andre Bruce, 20 Derek Hoskins, and an ominous, intimidating defense allowed no touchdowns. Meanwhile, Raider precision passing earned two second-half scores. Now Settler, lay fake, looking for the end zone, fires, he's got a man, touchdown Andrew Glover! Touchdown Raiders! Playing in front of family and friends, Hoss was boss this day. Lay fake, back to throw his Hoss Settler, looking up the middle, fires into the end zone, wide open, he's got a man, touchdown Raiders! Derek Fenner, what a pass! Derek Hoskins' interception sealed another day of glory for the Oakland Raiders. Next for the Raiders, on the road against the Chiefs. Injury problems mounted as a broken arm sideline starting offensive tackle Gerald Perry, but special teams created opportunities.
Tim Brown broke for 39 yards. And number 55, James Holston. 46, Carl Kidd. And 39, Bruce Pickens. In Kansas City deep. 93, Jerry Ball denied one Kansas City scoring attempt. A crushing hit by Eddie Anderson forced a fumble that Albert Lewis returned. Lewis continued to vex his former team as he registered a sack. On offense, Napoleon Kaufman and former Chief Harvey Williams helped the Raiders battle into overtime. But as the Raiders drove toward victory, an official cut off Tim Brown's pattern, creating a game-ending interception. Now the Raiders returned home to take on the playoff-bound Philadelphia Eagles with both teams eager for action. Just a place to be right here. Unusual fans and an unusual first 10 minutes found the Raiders 17 points down. But no team in pro football history had demonstrated the comeback courage that was a Raider trademark. Cunningham spreads the defense with three wide receivers and drops back to throw. Sets it up in the flat for Waters, who's hit. It's a fumble. Young Austin Robbins, number 95, got Oakland on the scoreboard. And then aroused defenders zeroed in on enemy quarterbacks. Andre Bruce grounded one eagle, while number 94, Anthony Smith, forced a fumble that McLaughlin recovered. Terry McDaniel and Rob Fredrickson converted a tip pass into a turnover. Then pressure by Andre Bruce created opportunity for McDaniel. With defenders in silver and black now mastering the Eagles, Jeff Hostetler went quickly to number 80, Daryl Hobbs. Harvey Williams went long with a short pass. Then Hostetler, with time to search, pitched a strike to running back Derek Fenner. Andre Bruce's relentless pressure set up another score. Pressure, he's hit, it's loose. And if they want to call it incompletion, no, picked up by Fredrickson. I don't hear a whistle. Touchdown, Raiders! I never thought the play was stopped, and neither did the referee. The determined Raiders thundered to 48 unanswered points, second most in team history. Back in the pocket, setting up, going over the middle, wide open eyes. Cuts it down to the 30, getting a block to the 25. Tony Bago, the distance. Now three and one, the Raiders headed east again for a Sunday night clash against the New York Jets. Kevin Gogan, Steve Wisniewski, and 77 Rich Stevens analyzed their mission on the sideline. With Dan Turk, Robert Jenkins, and Andrew Glover opening holes, Napoleon Kaufman showed outside speed. While receiver Rocket Ishmael showed toughness going across the middle. A great play fake by Williams helped Hostetler find Glover open in the end zone. Then Williams used blocks by Fenner, Jenkins, and Gogan to work through heavy traffic. A national television audience saw Williams find pay dirt. The lethal passing partnership of Hostetler and Brown combined on a perfect fade route. Then later teamed again for another Raiders score. Side with Fenner joins the wide receivers. Hostetler fires downfield to Brown. Is complete the 50. Breaks attack on the 40. There he goes down the sideline to the 30. The 20. Will he make it to the 10? 5. Touchdown Raiders! Hostetler threw four touchdown passes against the Jets. This one to Daryl Hobbs. Raider defenders dominated the evening's activities. Aaron Wallace, number 51, and Pat Swilling recorded sacks. James Folston prevented one completion. 
while Mike Jones converted another into an exciting Raider touchdown. Back to throw his eyes in there, and Wallace hits it as he releases it, fires for Corbett. He lost it after he caught it, picked up by Mike Jones on the right side of the 50. Down to the 40, gets a block to the 35, 30, still on his feet. Coming down the middle of the 20, still gets a block to the 10, to the 5. Oh, he's in! Touchdown, Mike Jones! That former Missouri Tiger running back takes it in. Raider pride was evident against the visiting Seahawks, as was Raider's speed with Rocket Ishmael. Rockets returned behind key blocks by 63 Barrett Robbins and Andrew Glover, excited Coach White, and helped ignite the Raiders. Austin straight deep drop sets up. He's got time looking over the middle, guns it up the middle, complete the tip run. Silver and black clad warriors like number 42 Eric Ball slashed and smashed. As did Andre Bruce, Aaron Wallace, Robbins, Anderson, and others. Mike Jones' interception prevented one touchdown. While Harvey Williams with blockers up front and downfield hit for the distance. Here we go on the second and long. Sweep to Harvey Williams, cuts it back inside the 20. Goes up the middle of the 15 to the 10 to the 5. Will they get there? Yes, touchdown. Williams ran for one score and threw for another. Austin pitching. Williams going up to the right side, looking to throw back the other way. Wide open, Glover, touchdown Raiders! Robbie back to throw, looks up to the right side, fires, he's got a man, touchdown, here he can. Raider mind and muscle earned a 34-14 victory. With Hostetler injured, Vince Evans would start against the Colts with Billy Joe Hobart in ready reserve. Veterans like 29 Albert Lewis, Russell Freeman, Jeff Jager, and rookies like 79 Jeff Geyser, Matt Dyson, Joe Aska, and Marcus Hinton were primed and ready. Let it all go! Let it all go! One, two, three! Blanchett kicks it away, and it's going to go to Nat Kaufman, a very short one. He'll take it to the run, gets behind the wedge, the 18, coming over to the near side, up the middle, he goes 25, 30, 35, 40. Joyce Chester McLaughlin, 91, and Andre Bruce, 99, lassoed Colt runners, while McLaughlin, Anthony Smith, and Jerry Ball corralled their quarterback. As Raiderettes and fans cheered, Evans triggered an aerial explosion against the playoff-bound Colts. He teamed twice with Ishmael for touchdowns. Evans on a play fake, sets up, he's got some time, and he's going to go for the home run, and he's got a wide open rock in the end zone. Touchdown Raiders! Goes Evans in the offense, back to throw his Vince, looking deep and firing for the Rocket, who's got a step on his man, and makes a catch at the 30. With Rocket, Jack, Brown, and Hobbs in stride, the Raiders won 30-17 and headed for Cincinnati. With Derek Venner leading, Napoleon Kaufman got the ground game online. And Harvey Williams, with 134 yards rushing, got Oakland on the scoreboard. Jeff Hostetler eluded the rush and found Kerry Cash open. And then found top target Tim Brown for another Raider touchdown. Count by Hostetler. Doesn't get up the jump, but he's going to throw on second and short. Fires up at the near side. Tim Brown makes it right at the 20. Down to the 15. Cuts it inside the 10. He'll take it in. Touchdown, Raiders. Zach
sack leader Pat Swilling, along with Ball and Smith, were relentless pass rushers on the artificial turf. Pro Bowl choice Terry McDaniel intercepted deep. Then got a crushing block from 53, Rob Fredrickson. Dan Turk snap, Gossett's hold, and Jeff Jager's long field goal ensured a 20 to 17 triumph. The Raiders' fourth cross country trip in nine games found them at the Meadowlands again. Former Giant Jeff Hostetler teamed with Daryl Hobbs Shorts and then went deep through six. And Swilling stopped one runner. And number 31, Joe King, straightened another. Anthony Smith and Austin Robbins got a sack. Then Smith and Swilling team for a takeaway. Skill and daring, Terry McDaniel upended one giant. And then came down with another interception. Blocking by tight ends Glover and Cash and the entire line helped Kaufman and Williams seal this total team victory. take the field in 1996 the Coliseum will have been rebuilt a state-of-the-art facility friendly for fans but still with no place for opponents to hide when Al Davis first pledged to build the greatest organization in pro sports, the Raiders have totally dominated in terms of consistent victory. Decades of destiny have proven that the flame that burns brightest in this organization is the will to win, and that unrivaled commitment to excellence has now returned to Oakland.